Hi. 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 It's me, friendly neighbor aliens, trained on the third rock from the sun. And back to the Arthur Two painting. The tendrils are, you know, ready to be painted. Basically, that's all I'm going to be doing. It's just painting. Still. As you can see, I think they turned out pretty nice. So far. I'm going to start working on the inner mouth here. Um, I think I want to start with the big one here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm to start with the big one. So I was trying to figure out a color scheme for it. And I figure... I kind of want to do something similar. So I'm going to start with the orange on the lips. And then go to red. Oh, well, I was, um, I'll get in the clear coat so I have the bright orange. I just need some of that. I'm going to stir it up a little bit, though. It still needs a little stirring, even though it shook it. So I'm going to start with the big one. And I think I know how far I'm going to paint the orange here and here, so. I'm going to focus just on the inside here. It's going to be like like the last one, two coats. I'm going to put it right in there. I don't mind a little bit of the fuzz from the um, plastic. I'm going to be honest because... I grew up, well, I didn't grow up, um, one day I'll grow up, 49 years old, one day I'll grow up, but no, I grew up, um, with the original Little Shop of Horrors, the, um, Marcia Corman one. That was my introduction to the whole concept of Little Shop of Horrors. Of course, the musical came. I, I, was, I saw the musical. Seen it a few times, actually. But the original one is the one that I literally grew up with. Ah! Bumping everything. And that one was a little fuzzier. But considering how quickly they made the original. I think I'm going to go with maybe three coats of the orange. I'm doing the orange because I was looking at leaves on the way, you know, to um, the store to get my clear coat, get some clear coat so I can protect these from the um, elements a little bit better. Oops, I keep taking it out of frame. And I was seeing the orange on the leaves in the fall, you know, because it's autumn. And I happen to live up north. And I'm going to say it's inspired me. Because the lips on Audrey's, at least all the pictures I've seen, her lips are red. But I want to have that lighter undercoat underneath, right? So, so what I'm doing is I'm going to throw a little orange on, as the underneath, as the undercoat. 
And then I'm going to paint on the red. Now the red's going to be a little thicker. Bring up a little farther. But I want to get the open mouth ones first. I also picked up some new lights. I still can't find my um, projector lights. The kind that you would, you know, aim at the side of your house. Don't know where they went. But I bought a couple new ones to replace them. I'm sure I'll find them now. Okay, I think they'll look fine. I'm going to leave a lot of the weight of the inner part of the mouth. But, you know, actually, I'm going to... I'm gonna, um, no, no, I'm gonna keep it like that. This one I'm just gonna go a little over. But I was thinking that, you know, that leaf coloration would be nice. While I was looking at pictures, I saw one, an Audrey too, that was not exactly a puppet. It was a, um, the, the production out west because it was on a, a K station, not a W station like it is on the east of America. But I think it was like on, a, on a, one of the K's. I'm an article on one of the K's, you know, K station websites. And um, the producers of a production of Little Shop of Horrors decided that it would be interesting, instead of using a puppet, a giant puppet, and probably more economical, um, for Audrey 2. They used a woman, a singer, somebody who could sing, you know, obviously, because, you know, Little Shop needs somebody who can sing, it's a musical, duh. But they used the whole um, big pod, they kept the big pod, but that's her spaceship. She's not a man-eating plant, well, she's a man-eating plant, but not the same kind of man-eating plant. I'm going to put them in this order. And then while that first coat dries, I'm going to do the coat for this coat first. Then I'm going to do the dry brush. Of that later. Okay, I want to take a look at this one. Okay. This is going to be tougher. I think I'm just going to do this. I think in this one I'm just going to do... Um, a two coat. I think a three coat will still work. I think three coats will still work on on this one. But I'm trying. Oops. I should have scraped off some that that's not a problem. These are for personal Halloween decorations. These are not for like a movie production. I don't think I'd want to do one for a movie production. It seems like it would be too much um, stress. After this, I'll 
start the dry brush with green. Actually, I'm going to start painting the tendrils next while these dry. I don't really have much to say right now, so I'm just going to focus on my painting. If somebody shows up, yeah, I'll, I'll, that, that'll be awesome. But I'm just going to focus more on the painting itself right now. Okay. Let's sell four of those. That's the first coat. I'm going to go like three coats of orange. Next, I want to paint oh, ah! that could have been messy. Drop my paint I'm all shaking it. Time to paint the tendrils. At least these will only need like one coat. And then when the paint's dry, I put on a metal rag. I don't know if you can see the shadows there. But I'm not too worried about them. I'll cure. But they'll probably won't be completely cured until probably um Thursday or Friday I would imagine. So I should still be able to bend them to shape tomorrow. I can get these finished. I can get these finished tonight. That would be kind of cool, right? At least the tendrils, you know. Get the archery finished tonight would be awesome, but... That is not going to happen. I know that for a fact. Mainly because I gotta wait for paint to dry. there and then the tendrils can dry on that little contraption I just rigged up now remember these tendrils are only for the big one. Oh, I should show you what I what I have for the for Audrey
I think once the tendrils are dry, I'll show you what I have for um, the rest of Audrey's, my Audrey's here. And I had an idea today, too. If I have time, I'll do it. Considering I just got like just over a week until Halloween. But it would be really kind of fun. But yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, my idea. Um, Basically, I want to print up another one of those big stems. And get a skull on it. Instead of one of those Audrey's, put a skull on it. And then make like little tendrils like this. I hate that texture. And you know, make it look like the, the, the skull is part of the plant. You know? Yeah, this one you can see it's sunk in a little more. I don't think it focused that lens. I guess I'll clean the lens tomorrow. By the, you know, if I remember to, I'm going to clean the lens tomorrow. Because i got to work more in my Halloween costume. Oh, I think I have the right staff. Yeah, I got the I got the right cane. I'll pull it out of the closet. That's on the other side of my table. I think I'll use my Beetlejuice cane in my costume. It's um sandworm head. God, I think I got it last year, maybe the year before. No, no, last year, because um the year before. It was the first year we got Spirit up here. Before then, we had just the Halloween Superstore. And then they stopped coming up here. Now we had one year without a Halloween store at all. It really sucked. And then Spirit Halloween came up. Did Gangbusters. And... It came up a second time and did well enough to come up a third time. There we go. And I got this um, Beetlejuice sandworm cane. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. No, it looks like a sculpture by Delia Dietz. Okay. Next. Let that brush dry. Get to a third brush. I have this um, real green. It's glossy. It doesn't really matter if it's glossy or not because uh, you got a glossy a clear coat for it too because I figure plants are kind of glossy or some are. But I figure that'll be the dark green. And this will give me a chance to attempt to try brush.
My hands don't always like to work. Problem with getting old. Especially when I'm hold Especially when I'm holding things. Using a small brush for this. Because I want to. I have no expert knowledge. Oh, thank you for the Lurk Project EOS. Nice to see you. I think that'll look that I think that'll look good, right? I got like a plant like quality to it. I think that'll be fine. Once I get these done, I'll show you the um stuff I have. I think I'm getting paint on my microphone. That's okay, it's not my good microphone. That's Still over by my desk. Just a nice chill little evening. Once I get the clear coat on. Now that I don't know when that's gonna happen. It's like weather's getting a little um lousy up here the next couple days. It's gonna be kinda rainy. Kinda rainy tomorrow. And cooler again. But I'm sure I'll be able to get the done after I get this big one done. I'll I'll pull out the various other things I have that are going to complete this.
paint the second coat of orange on um, the bigger Audrey's or on the bulbs. I think these are going to look so cool when they're done. I'm going to be honest. I've always wanted to have Audrey's. I've always wanted to have little Audrey's. Not, well, not always. But ever since I really started decorating for Halloween. Like, serious decorating. I figured odd trees would be kind of, kind of, kind of fun for yard decorations. Looks like all those hours watching Face Off hasn't come to vain yet. Hasn't in Pennsylvania yet? Weird. Sorry, I took a look at the captions. I'm keeping the captions on. They're a great source of humor. That is dry. Okay. I'm going to pull out what I have here. That'll, I think, complete things up. Come on, don't get stuck. So, for, um, I'm, I'm going to pick this stuff up today. But, I got this. Succu you know, fake plastic succulent. But I figure for the little plants, uh, these can be nice little tendrils. I'm not going to bother painting them or anything. I'm going to use them as is. If you hear the drinking, this crypto behind me drinking his water. And then I picked up another fake succulent with these big leaves. For um, the big one. And for the little ones, I thought a little accent leaves from these limes. I picked these up at the dollar store a few weeks ago. And for some more littler leaves, this uh, eucalyptus, this fake silk eucalyptus, for the for the little ones. And I think once all that's in, and maybe some flowers. And some silk flowers that will be um useful. Okay, let's get the second coat of orange in. Oh, let me finish cleaning my brush first. That way it can dry by the time I need it. I'm going to go in a little deeper this time. And then I'll put some... Um, Red on. No, 
I can see it. Same on the upper. Whoops. Whoops. I'm not worried about getting a little orange there. Once again, I'm thinking plants. Plants aren't all identical with another one another, and they all aren't perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect plant, right? Right. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Okay. I'm getting paint all over myself again. Good thing is I didn't make my stromboli. I'm sure you're focusing more on this. But I did make my stromboli, so I'm happy. It was a hearty stromboli from um, one of my cookbooks. Really tasty. Basically, you're making a bread... With a little garlic salt in it. And then you're um, filling it with some ham, some salami, or summer sausage, as this is supposed to be called for. Some cheese, cheddar or Swiss, and some green onion. Or green pepper, not green onion. I'm going to leave that inner part red, and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with the tongue at some point. I did both of the open mouths first. So... Yeah, it's gonna be three coats on the open mouth before I go to before I start painting red on there. I think I might just do um, a darker green on the tongue. That might look nice. But just a darker green on like a coat. It's like a coat of the darker green on the tongue. Might look 
look really nice. Okay, after this, I do a second coat. Well, not a second coat. I do the um, next green. The sour apple on the tendrils for the big one. That will be um, coming out. I think I'm going to have those coming out at the bottom. I, I kind of like, I still like the idea of them coming out of the bottom. Those try. Yeah, get over there, number two. And one more coat of that. And then the red. Then the green after that.
If, nah, if these don't work, I've always got the um, other tendrils too. They'll make a good backup. I remember the first time I did the um, whole decorating for Halloween thing. I did it just because it's like, oh, that looks cool. I should do something like that. I want to. I love Halloween. And I have some decorating stuff. But it was stuff like, um, Cheap foam tombstones that really um, can't survive well to wind. And I want to make like a little cemetery scene and I didn't have anything to make fences out of. So I took some old um, cheap posts, you know, like plastic shelf post things. And some basically clothesline to make a cemetery and some um, colored Halloween lights I had. But I made something. And now I've got like pallet wood fences and more expensive foam tombstones that I made by hand. Honestly, I think it did good. Okay. Really not much else to do but wait until um, things have dried up, dried a bit. Okay. That brush is still kind of damp. But I am going to I think while I'm waiting. I'm going to hit the tongues. Maybe I'll put a dry brush of some purple on afterwards. Ooh, that might be nice. A quick dry brush of purple on tomorrow. On the tongues. I mean, good news is this is an alien plant, so it doesn't have to look um, perfect, you know? I mean, it's not just a plant. It is a mean green mother from outer space. I should, show, I should watch that movie. I don't watch that in months. But I don't really want to right now. I kind of want to watch Beetlejuice, but... I don't really have any way of watching it right now. Not without, um... Yeah, we can't really can't see the underside. Yeah. I think it'll look good, especially once I get the red on the lips. But it's more I just in here I do not have a way of watching it and on my um working computers I have a working D V D player. And I don't have a TV in here. 
Or any place I could really set it up where I could watch it, you know. I mean, if I had, like, a mounting bracket, I could probably mount it on the, the closet door. But then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put a DVD player. I think just one coat of that should be fine. I can do like a purple dry brush tomorrow. And the tongue. I'll have to change the water tomorrow before tomorrow. Once I get the mouth done, then I will um, do something else that's escaping me right now. Then I'll do the tri brush on the outside of the green, the darker green. Then I'll just go like that. Third. Coat of orange. Get the third coat of orange on. Then, with that third coat on, then I will start painting the red in. I don't know if I'll get to that tonight, though. So maybe... I do kind of want to get that in before I do the dry brush. So this is just the undercoat. Then I'll put red on the top. If I had like an eyedropper or something, I'd probably take a little red. Just have it like dripping from the side a little bit, maybe. I don't have an eyedropper, unfortunately.
Now I just now I do have to wait. So I'll let those dry off a little bit more before I. I think I just did this one. No, I didn't. Gotta remember. I watched Bob Ross as a kid. I wanted to paint like him so bad. But that's beside the point. Um There are no mistakes. Just happy little accidents. Okay. Now I do have to let those dry. Brushes dry too. So today's been a good day. Like I said, I got my new um, I got new projector lights. And I set them up um, in my little tea party area. It's where I used to um. Sorry, shaking the red. That's where I used to show movies. I had like this old, nearly 25 year old um, projector right now. Um. And I would, and a little adapter for my iPad. <sighs> Probably got blockage in there. Um. Oh yeah, you can see it. You can read that. Ugh. Yeah. You can go in the old paper towel. Okay. Now I should be able to get a little bit of purple out. But I would show movies on that thing in an old screen. Well, not really an old screen. An old plastic tarp that would got wind. Got, got killed by the wind. So now I can, you know, do it. Like a little rear projection screen on it. That's actually kind of useful. But my iPad's dying. It's a first gen iPad, so. You know, what can I do about it? You know, that's an old iPad. But, um. I want to throw a little hint of purple in there. Not much. But, um, I have one of those projector lights back there now. Reflecting onto that, you know, quote unquote screen. And it looks really cool. I have that behind my, um, my three skeletons having a little tea party. It looks really cool. Really cool. But I set that up to test it. And as I'm actually getting the, the screen finished set up, because it's getting dark enough so I could actually see the light, some car drives by. 
And I, I definitely hear an, oh, cool, coming out of it. And it's just like, yeah, that made my night. I always love it when people react well to my um, Halloween decorations. I don't need this one anymore. It's also kind of fun um, if you can get like a full body costume going. I've done that a few times. Um, and what I've done with it is I'll just stand perfectly still. I'll hear somebody coming, stand perfectly still. And then as they're coming at me, slowly move. They think I'm an animatronic, and then I take a couple steps towards them. I've scared people that way. I've scared children that way. They get candy afterwards, obviously. Um, one year, I think I told the story last year too. But one year, one of my favorite costumes I did, and it was from one of the Halloween superstores. I was trying to think of a costume, and I saw like this prosthetic gargoyle makeup. And I thought, oh, that might be kind of fun. Let me see if I can find something to go with it. And then I saw a clown costume. So what I ended up doing was um, putting on the prosthetic gargoyle makeup and the clown costume. And uh, it was more, it was a raining year, so I really couldn't go out and you know be with my props. But what I did do was, I you know I'd just be open the door. Or I'd put on some creepy movements. And a creepy voice. And I made an adult run. I made some kid, poor kid's parent bolt. Proudest moment ever. I loved it. I loved it. Making some poor kid's parent just go... So worth it. Just so worth it. If you can do that, I have to put a pair of ooh. Yeah, I got a couple pairs of um, glasses I can do that with. Around one of the plants, put a pair of um, glasses with maybe like some tape in the middle to re represent Seymour. I mean, these are Audrey twos after all. Hopefully I'll have these finished up this week. Hopefully I'll have these um, up by the end of the week. But yeah. That was a... Mm. So we can scare adults on Halloween. Just by handing out candy. Always worth it. For a couple of years I even handed, I even handed out full-size bars. That, that was fun. 
It's always fun to be the adult that can hand out full-size bars. Another one of my favorite Halloween memories. If I didn't have to buy, like, paints and stuff, probably would have bought some, um, cans of soda. And then that guy. Cans of caffeine-free soda. I would have gone caffeine-free. Don't need to give kids a sugar, you know, a caffeine rush on top of the sugar rush for bed on a school night. What kind of sicko do I think I am? Let me get some kind of bots in here. I just feel weird. When it comes to bots. Mainly like because so many are using scams. Whoops, I'm not bringing that a little too close to my head. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oops, no. Stay in there and dry off. Let that dry off. Ugh. I think I'm going to save this one for last, I think. I'm going to start painting on the red, though. This one should be fine. And this one should be fine. To start painting the red on. Maybe two coats of the red. It'll look fine. Because every pick I've seen, um, 2E, I mean, yeah, 2E or Junior, uh, 2E has uh, red lips.
I really should have watched the movie and got some screen caps. But I don't have a DVD player to do that with, unfortunately. I actually miss having physical media on my keyboard. Eh, one coat should be fine. If I have, I might make some I'm gonna just paint with black if I have enough left after getting this. Yeah, it looks much better that way with it open. But paint some, you know, get some black and just do a quick run over. And then I'm thinking tomorrow, once all this is dry, I'm gonna put a dry brush of um, Glow in the dark over the top of it completely once it's dry. So tomorrow, maybe Friday, depending on what all needs to be done. Do that before I do the clear coat. A little luminescence. Might be kind of fun. Especially with the outside. That might be kind of fun to make it a little, um, do that over the inside. I'll think about that. I'll have to think about that for a second. I mean, that might look interesting. If I could get some light in here that or in these 
That would be nice. But then I'd have to completely reprint and I really don't want to do that. I had more than enough fun printing it up the first time. I don't need to do a reprint. Not everything I have needs to have some lights in it. I gotta remember tomorrow. No, before Halloween. Do a dry run through and, um. Show it off. Next week, I am definitely not streaming on Halloween. I will be too busy. Getting ready for Halloween. Nevertheless, from the moment I get up to the moment I go to bed, it's Halloween. On Halloween. Just prepping for Halloween. I should get some white paint. I don't think I have any white paint left. I might. If I do it though, it's not gonna be much. I don't I don't think I have much. white paint left. Look at my the smallest brush I have and paint in some like little itty bitty teeth. So I got a little couple spots of wet orange, it feels like. That looks like, but that's fine. I want to have some glow in the dark spray paint. I wish I had an airbrush. That would make life so much easier. You know, I have to remember how to use an airbrush. I haven't used one since high school. I loved using it in high school, though. Every time I end up at a place, a hobby store that sells an airbrush, I am pricing airbrushes. I think that would be better if I put some white, maybe a second cut, like a quick dry brush tomorrow with some white in there actually. Okay. 
fresh brush. Okay. I think I'm going to go like this. I have an Audrey pod. I should be doing that in the center, I think. Next one. I have two archery pods. Whoops. Squeezing a little too hard. Nothing bad happened, but my fingers were getting stuck.
final one. The big one. little overboard there, but it'll be fine. Once again, it's not for like a production of anything. I mean, who knows? It could be. One year, the local community theater um, was doing like a um, kind of a horror-themed play. And I ended up becoming like the prop finder. I had to look at it, you know, see if there was like a you know, actual credit for me in this program. They gave me like a special title. But I was the guy who like ended up finding all the props. All the props. I was the person doing all that work. And by finding the props, I mean Oh, I have one of those. What? You need a heart? I got a heart. I got a rubber heart. Need that? I got a couple lanterns. Oh, I had this material that I was going to use for a project. But you can use it for a mirror. It was fun. I put a lot of my Halloween expertise into that. And you never know, that theater could go... Well, we need some uh, Audrey 2 props, and uh, we heard you got some because they were up on Halloween. And I could be like, oh yeah, I got some Audrey 2s. I don't have any Audrey 2 puppets. Yet. But I'd be willing to figure out how to make one for ya. Okay, I think that's about all I can really do. My table's kind of full of stuff that needs to, you know, sit and dry for a bit. <laughs> Sorry, oh, my tentacles moved. Okay. So I'm just gonna. them visible for screenshot purposes. Really don't have anything else to do for another, you know, half hour. I'm gonna let all that dry before I hit the inside with some white and put those together. So that could be tomorrow. Huh. Not bad for an hour and a half, you know, for, for a day's work, right? I think I did pretty good. I really don't have much else to do. 
At least for this. Now that everything's dry, and I'm gonna throw some purple, I think, on the tongue. I'm gonna throw some white on the inside of the mouth. And then I'm gonna put some glow paint on, but that, that can be found Friday. Yeah, not really else, anything else I can do. Wow. I'm happy. I might have a, a second piece of pumpkin pie tonight for celebration. Got farther than I wanted to, or than I thought I would. So I see what I. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. I think they'll look awesome. They will look awesome when done. And they're almost done. I just gotta let them dry. So, I think that's a very short stream. I think I can find something to watch. I don't think the archive is back yet, is it? Yeah. Oh, what's uh, tomorrow? They say there's an event tomorrow in the archive. See the blogs back on. What's our blue sky saying? Very slow. I really wish, I, I really hope that comes back soon. I missed the Internet Archive. Can't believe they went down. But at least the way back machine's back. Yeah, otherwise I'd probably say, okay, I can find something short, you know, some shorts to watch or something. Well, I'm gonna make my, uh, take care of my screenshot here. So, let me just... Four screenshots. There we go. Just want to do that for screenshot purposes. About an hour and 33 minutes in. Yeah, I really don't have anything else to do. I was not planned for this eventuality. I was expecting to be like, ah, I'm not gonna get this done, but I got more done than I wanted, than I thought I could, than I thought I would. I think it turned out nice. Hmm. 
Right? I mean, I think it turned out nice. Now, one thing I'm thinking is I'm going to take some hot glue when I'm done. Especially on this one. And I'm going to make some drool. Out of hot glue. And I'll do that before I, um, clear coat it. That should look really good. Okay then, well, if I don't really have anything else to do... Nothing else really to talk about. Oh, okay, so I gotta figure out... Yeah, I have nothing else to talk about. No other projects ready to get started. Oh, wait, I do have some projects I can do some, do some work here. Do I have any more little cups left? Yes, I do. Okay. I have one more little cup. That does not have paint in it right now. And dry. Ah, uh, both the puppies are in the kennel. Sorry about the spider. The, the rubber spiders on my um, cobwebs are falling off. Gotta make a cookie color. So I printed up these. They're like 3D scans of chocolate chip cookies. And I was figuring... Here's one of the little coasters I have. Um... For part of the tea party, I have like um, a little plate of cookies. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint them. If I paint them, I don't, you know, if I use them, I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not. I thought it might be kind of cool, but I don't know what color I would do. I really do not have the energy for that tonight. These will be a possible project for Friday. The Audrey's are the most important project. This is a secondary project. This is not related to what I'm doing over by my... Um, by my toe biter. Because that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta make... Gotta make something for my toe biter. And I don't know what, but I want something interesting over there. Because... Really not much to it. There really isn't. Yeah, I think I'm just going to call it. I think I'm just going to call it. I don't think I have another 20 minutes in me. So, yeah. Um, I'll be back in just under 12 hours to do more work on my Autry 2s. To um, get them on their stems and in their pots. Maybe I'll drill this one out tomorrow. We get them in their stem, you know, get them on their stems and their pots with the leaves and potential flowers to give some more bright colors. You can do that tomorrow. Well, I figure out how I'm going to do that. And, um, but maybe tomorrow. I'll have my Audrey 2's done. So, until tomorrow, um, I guess I'll see you on the flip side. I'm going to go fight, see if I can find somebody to raid. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can find somebody to raid. Um, enjoy the music. And I'll raid. Bye. Bye. <laughs>